I did that to prove a point. <sighs> now, I've been up all night trying to put this thing together, so I hope it's appreciated and respected. My first question is, why do men follow women? Um, this is the second time, and I don't go out in public very much, so... This is the second time I've noticed I've been followed. I was followed in Atlanta. And when I was walking to the store today, um, there's a black truck. And so I'm, you know, he's in the parking lot of shopping market. And I keep turning around and moving. And I'm like, okay, he's following me. So I got in a crowded area. And he just drove by real slow and kind of was looking at me. What that reminds me of is the video Lance made about him and the strippers he used to go with. And the men would be like, heh, 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 heh. you know, just, just predatory. Like, I don't understand. Well, I don't need to understand it. But um, let me show a picture. This is, well, let me turn the flashlight off. Sure, you can't really see it. Hold on. Okay, now this is me, my dad, my mom, and one of my sisters and brothers. Now, I was about 12 years old. Damn, fly want to mess with me. I was about 12 years old when we took this picture, and we are in white. Now, never did I know anything about any types of, uh, damn it, shoot. It's like the fly want to stop me, too. <laughs> That's that paranoia thing that they think I got, uh. But yeah, I didn't know anything about that. So that's me at 13 years old. That's my uncle Yahim King's uh, funeral. And what I remember about that funeral is that it was around the time that Tupac Shakur and Notorious Big passed. And we never questioned why we were wearing white or anything like that so i gonna be honest it's kind of difficult to hear and see people calling my family a cult especially if I didn't see it like that now when I'm online I'm talking to blood relatives I'm talking to my grandmother my dad my mom cousins and I am saying their names and thanks to them just to show that I'm a real person not that it really matters shall I move on this is me I was about 23 or 24 I was overseas in Iraq what was called the green zone and what I was dancing to at the time was salsa. I didn't understand the language, period. But it was mostly a Santeria-type songs, and I knew nothing about my culture then. I ran off so that I could be free and see what the white man world was all about. But you wouldn't know I was in Iraq on the general staff doing my shit, and I was just fine. But there's no faking. I'm not a performer. This is deep in my heart. I showed y'all my breast. <laughs> and the reason why I did that. Hold on, let me show y'all one more picture. Well, probably two. Um, where that dang old army picture at? This is... um. me and the army and some other people and I'm just 
lost in the sauce, just kind of following what's going on around me. And, you know, I see myself and, you know, just kind of unconcerned back then. But I was in Iraq, and that's when I experienced a lot of high-value dust who was paying for sex, having sex, and just doing whatever they want. And it was 90% officers, so you, and the lieutenant was a private, or they treated him, I guess, like private, and I was the specialist, so you do, you figure it out. And then check this out. Where did other one? This is another picture of me where I'm kind of looking like a white woman in Las Vegas and was doing drugs, trying to stay skinny in the army when I was depressed, hopeless, busted, and disgusted and really needed to get out because I was having a spiritual awakening and I needed to be with my people. This right here is a year ago. That's me in my auntie backyard and I'm looking at the sky and I wrote something. I said, at the sky for guidance, a full moon, the clouds are in a heart shape. Love in the sky is chaotic, can't be controlled, attack through love, attaching to the portions of myself that's brainwashed. The beautiful Eurocentric distortion, happy with the love the ancestors and the reaches have shown me, because I survived that shit. Surviving the motherfucking surface, <laughs> surviving Eurocentric life. So let me go back. I thought that my video was going to be, I was going to come in dancing and show all my shakers and shit and, you know, just kind of have it all organized, but it's not that simple. Uh... Hold on. 